Welcome back to Pathfinder. Wrath of the Righteous. We're in Threshold. Last time, we freed Meslin. Uh, which seemed to have brought us towards the inner part of Threshold. Perhaps it's a demiplane. Uh, looks like our current objective, other than finding a relay, of course, is to get out of the demiplane. Uh, so right now we have to go forward. That's pretty much our only option. So we will do so. Uh, I did miss a buff on. I'm here all week. Bismuth. Let me put that up now. Greater heroism. Primarily for the hit points, extra hit points. Um. Oh, also for the saves. Okay. Alright, ready to go. Looks like we have a desk. Looks like we have some papers. Let's look at the desk. Nope. We have some poltergeists. I promise. Ah, uh, that just caused this inspection to appear. Wonder if there's some special order you're supposed to do this. Resurrection. Oh. Hey, we're immune to fire. We're not immune to drowning, though, I don't think. You could drown in lava. Okay. Well, I guess let's go this way. Oh, it's one of these demi plants. All right, I see. Beautiful. We're all mounted, right? Rely on me. Yes. Yes. We'll win. There's no one way or the other. dismissed as a calculation error. You knew failure was a possibility. Then why? Why? Yes. It's decided. I will tell you the truth. Before we fight to the death. Would you like to know why I upended your life? This place is my demi-plane. I created it when I was a prisoner in Threshold. I would slip away to conduct my rituals here in secret. This is where I decided to create what mortals would later call the World Wound. This is where I made all my preparations. Do you understand? Escaping was never my goal. I could have easily disappeared from Threshold. I could have passed through it like water through sand. Some believe that I brought Sarkoris to ruin out of revenge. And I suppose there is some truth to that. I did have reason for revenge. You've been to this secret part of my laboratory and know what I'm talking about. Or at least you have an inkling. My laboratory. 
the old house in the middle of nowhere that marked the entrance to my lab. It was the home of Arilu Vorlesh when she... when I was still a mere mortal. I lived there with my son, away from the din of the crowd, and sheltered from the keen gaze of the Sarkorian witch hunters. It was a place where the reality of our world was in close proximity to the Abyss, a place where I could study the magic forbidden to all Sarkorians. I thought I had hidden my home well, but I was wrong. They found it. They found us. At that hour, I was there, in the laboratory. That damned laboratory I loved so much. I was absorbed in one of my experiments when the hunters arrived on our doorstep. I was sitting at my desk, recording my observations, thoughts, and calculations, as was my habit. That's when I heard the noise outside. The fight was brief. It barely lasted a moment. By the time I sensed that something was amiss and hurried out to see what was happening, it was too late. All I could do was cradle the body of my dead child and cry after their departing soul. I promise. Um, you know, I mean, normal resurrection scrolls would probably work. Might be a little weaker, but it's all right. Because they saw him with a scroll that he had secretly borrowed from my supply. He was trying to perform a forbidden ritual. Children, they are always drawn to the unknown. But for the threshold hunters, this child playing with a magical trinket he stole from an adult was just as much of a criminal as the worst demon worshippers. Hmm. Guess I'll do this. I am not concerned with whether it was justified or not, or with the application of morality, the law, or the teachings of any god. Look around you. This demiplane. The first time I escaped from my cell and ran here, I was trying to resurrect my son. I tried many things, but all my efforts were in vain. The soul had already received Verasmus judgment and had been sent on the path determined by the gods into the abyss. And when I realized that, I rebelled. But not against my jailers. Not against those who had murdered my child. Not even against Sarkoris. My uprising was against destiny, death, and the laws that the gods had forced upon our lives. I realized then that I wouldn't be satisfied with simply returning my son to life. I had to shatter this order once and for all, and make it so that neither Phrasma and her lackeys, nor death itself, could ever stand between us. Only by stepping beyond the bounds of what had been ordained for mortal kind. By obtaining powers that rivaled the divine, could we become free. And with this newfound purpose, I turned myself into a half-demon. Fusing the spiritual essence of the two planes was the only way I could achieve my goal. I let the abyss into my soul, and into this world. I opened the world wound. <laughs> I danced around three demon lords, making them assist me without ever revealing my true intentions. They just believed they were dealing with another power-hungry mortal. But in reality, I was after one thing. I wanted to find what was left of my son's soul and give him a new birth. One that would prevent anything from ever harming him again. And then I found you. I chose you because I felt a faint affinity to you. I thought your soul could accept the remains of my son's soul like the soil takes a seed. 
I thought I could bring back my child by tethering the mangled remnants of his soul to a pure mortal soul untouched by the Abyss. I thought the power of the Nehindrian crystals would allow me to protect him forever. That I could tear him away from the dominion of mortal nature. But I was mistaken in both assumptions. Now I'm about to face the consequences of my mistake. You will witness them as well. Mythic rank time. Yet another obstacle. Double storm call. With a rapture to boot. All right, storm callers are annoying, but you know it's just. Unless I fail a save against destruction, it's just using some mass heal at the end. So let's try to go for this guy. Uh, between Rusle and Lan, I could probably get him. No. Nope. Yay for me. Um, step back a little bit. Why not? Ah, uh, you think you slept? That would be a yes. Oh, Tsunami awakened the Merilith, I think. Or the Sunburst, or something awakened him. He's frightened. Or she, or whatever. Um, come over here. And... Be done with it. Taking some damage. <laughs> Amber? Wanna help out a little bit, maybe? Maybe? Let's go for that second one. Huh. Hmm. I don't want to use the level nine for that. That. So it won't finish. Him. All right.
Alright, I guess that's all we had to do to get out of the demi plane. Alright, let's take a look around. Let's see what we can do. Oh, Lance blind. Poor Lance. We'll fix that. Search for the beauty with your heart, not your eyes. Patrizio Turinos! Alright. Ooh, there's a portal. Ah, uh, that is the portal we're supposed to go through. Or, it's a portal, at least. Yep, that's where we have to get. Okay, let me uh, pause so I can figure out what I want to do with these Mythic Ranks, and then I will end this episode with uh, the Mythic Ranks. Okay, let's go. Ah, uh, Mythic Rank 10 for Prospero. Odd. Uh, Improved. That's sort of my base. If I don't have anything better to take for somebody, I'm just taking Mythic Improved Initiative. Presuming they already have Improved Initiative, of course. And I didn't really see anything else I wanted. So, uh, Here, Marvelous Endurance is probably the best, but just in case I need some skill checks uh, that Prospero is doing, let's just go and take all skilled. Uh, supersonic speed, not really needed because we have 24 hour haste and 24 hour displacement. So, could be useful if they're bypassing displacement, but eh, whatever. Uh, spells don't matter. Not for this character, at least. And that's it. Right. Avu. Ah, uh, we should check out our spell book. Uh, ooh, she has level 8 spells now. Nothing will cast, but she has them. <laughs> uh, level 8 means she can do quick and fourth level spells now. Eh, alright. Should I? Hmm. Still no mount. All right. Ah, uh, Sila. Ah, uh, Sila. I decided to take. Um, I decided to take the one that does some damage when she misses. If I can find that. Oh, that's uh, mythic ability. That's what it is. It's uh so I mean this is seventy six Sonic once around if she misses and she's probably missing a lot of her final attack so it might be something this is melee right yeah okay ah uh, that's it. Long face, still buffed, still equipped, yes. Lan. Meditate on your mistakes. It might make you feel better. I decided to in 
uh, increase his attack rolls rather than by point blank shot, which of course only applies when you're within 30 feet, but it also affects damage rolls. I'm just going to take weapon focus, short bow, because that'll apply to all of his attacks. Plus one. Not much. I'm sure there's better stuff, but whatever. Amber. We'll make things right. Uh, she's taking approved. Initiative mythic. So zeal. Oh, I, oh, I completely lost I Bismuth, I think. Oh, no, he's back. But he's no longer buffed. I was expecting that. No longer equipped, but we can fix that. All right. So Zeal has suffered enough. Is taking Domain Zealot, finally. So I could, for example, give Bit of Luck and Touch of Good, I think. Hopefully. That's that's the idea at least. <laughs> uh plus if he's out of range, he can do he can still do his uh guarded hearth by moving and then doing guarded hearth. Prove my worth. Oh, Ruchale. Ah, I have noticed a few times that we've become confused, even though I thought we're generally immune to being confused. So, I am having a Ruchale take Rupture Restraints. And that we is that. This war. This war must end. So, in between sessions, I will try to put some more buffs back on the bismuth. Uh, and then we will pick up from here next time. Thank you for joining me. This is Forkus Bite signing out. Sayonara. <laughs>